few friends suggested that I put small videos on YouTube showing different poses, warm-ups, modifications, prop uses. So um, here we go. Let's say you're practicing in the morning, especially in the winter and even in general, the body might be a bit stiffer. So I like to do some quicker movements, relatively quicker. Because most of the poses that I practice, the Iyengar style, Hatha Yoga, uh, are stay and stretch style. Um, but again, to get the heart rate up, loosen up the joints, warm up the body, a few movement um, exercises would help. So you may have something similar. The ones that I practice are double ups, or in India we call them ek do, ek do. Basically, you inhale, jump out, exhale, back in. Stretch your arms out, pull stomach in, jump in, out, in, down, in. Okay, let's do some shoulder rolls. Visualize as if you are lifting the buckets in the front, dropping them back. Lift, drop, lift, you drop with one hand, lift with another. Focus on the shoulders, not lifting the elbows, not this. Focus on the shoulders, just lift the shoulders. Stretch as much as you can the side. Lift, drop, lift. As you drop one, you lift with another one. Now opposite, drop in the front, lift with the back. Drop, drop, lift with the back, drop in the front. Show sideways. Lift and drop. Twist a little bit as you do so. This will loosen up, warm up the whole middle body. Your torso, your shoulders, your arms. Now try both together. Lift in the front, drop in the back. Lift, drop. You see I also roll my arms. Opposite. Drop in the front, lift in the back. Drop. you're stretching the back, the front, the side. There's another one, a little bit of puzz little bit puzzling, but if you try it slowly, your mind will get used to it. So start here, then you will do one and half, and then reverse. One and half. Put on your toes, twist a little bit. Arms firm, fingers stretched. Okay, another one. Stand in triangle at a comfortable distance, three feet, three and a half, four feet. Firm ups the middle body, squeeze hips, stretch your arms. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go crisscross. So my right palm will touch the left side, left on the right side. And I'm going to make kind of a semi-circle, a half circle, uh, all the way from front of the toes to back of the heels. If you can touch the floor, great. If not, that's okay too. Just go as far as you can. The idea is to stretch the whole body from the heels to fingertips, the whole body, and you'll see how. Right here. Side. Back. Front. See my leg, my arm, my middle body, everything is engaged. You want to go as far away from your foot as possible. So not here, not here. Don't keep the arm bent. Stretch. Long it. Lengthen. My torso is lengthened. My arm, my legs are straight, so knees not bent. So hamstrings are stretching. Hamstring stretch is really, really important. Probably the most important as far as forward bends and even back bends are concerned. Okay, then hold your right foot with left hand. Bring your body, so don't keep your head in the front, hips in the back. Bring your torso on top in the same plane as leg. 
and then don't sink. Lift up, bring the other hand up, and sit on the back. So this is a twist. Now don't lean on this hand, stand on this leg. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Look back, look up, whatever you're comfortable with. If the neck hurts, just look straight. Opposite side. Again, bring the body in the same plane as hips. So pull hips forward, head back. So not, not this way. Bring it this way. Stand on the leg and twist. It may take a few days, but you will get there. Don't be disappointed. If you want to work on the shoulders, you may drop your shoulder down. So this is basically my starting point. Uh, then uh, you may add a couple of hamstring stretches. Um, either you can do the Ardha Prasarita Padottanasan half standing split again stand three four feet as far comfortable as far as you're comfortable the key is not to drop not to round the back instead lift hips lift shoulders and arch your back you may keep your palms on your back lightly touching the floor or the block but the goal again is waking up the legs, stretching the hamstrings as well as the middle body. So if you sink, then my middle body is not engaged. My back muscles are not working anymore. Now they are. If you lift the shoulders, look outside. So that's Ardha Prasarita Padottanasan. Similarly, you can also do Ardha Uttanasan. Let me show sideways this time, but more or less same principle. I'll stand about 8 to 10 inches. Feet are about 8 to 10 inches. I like to spread the toes apart. You want to keep the hips above heels, so not pushing back like this. Then the toes come off the floor. That's not what you want. You want to stay equal, this equally distributed weight on front and back. Probably a lot more on the front as we go on in here. So again, not rounding the back, not looking inward. Either look down, or preferably if you can, look out without straining the neck. You don't have to look up, but look straight out. So what I'm doing is I'm lifting my hips up, so lengthening the distance between the hips and heels, stretching the hamstrings, as well as I'm lifting the shoulders up. This is comfortable. This is a little bit harder, and this is more challenging. And as you can see, my hips are going a little bit further back, so to keep the hips on top of heels, keep leaning forward. After doing these five to seven minutes of warm up, you should generally be ready to do whatever poses you like to do. If I'm going to do back bends, I prefer sun salutation, which I have uh, another video. Um, and if I'm going to do forward bends or inversions, I prefer the warrior sequence, which are more of stay and stretch kind of poses. Thank you.